just because we can't afford Adobe Illustrator or these other ridiculously expensive softwares doesn't mean we don't come up with clever ideas. We are always creative. Today, we're going to be looking at two logos for real estate or housing, I don't know, housing industry. And they are going to look like this. This is going to be a nice big empty space that's currently on trend with a beautiful background of a mock-up. The other one is going to be a house logo with a lighting idea <laughs> with, with the window lighting up just as a different kind of a design that you could bring to your customers. So let's jump in on Canva and design. You're gonna have your logo canvas open and you're gonna go to your elements and you're gonna search for a house. What we're looking for here is a graphic that we can use that looks simple enough for us to tweak and have it go light up when we design. This is one of my favorites, by the way. You click on it once and you size it. If you want to know who made this graphic, it is House Roof by DJ V Stock. If you want to save it for future, click on star, then Canva will save it for you on your starred graphics and you can find it in the future. And once you're happy and you've added your design, there's two ways you can go about lighting up the design. I'm gonna make the background black. I'm gonna make our graphic gold. And then I want to have this window light up in color. There's two ways that you can go about doing this. You can go to your elements and you can search for uh, square light. And then when you go to graphics, you have different kinds of square lights that you can find. I used this one on the first design and you see it's lighting up so nicely and it allows us to change the color to yellow. So I'm gonna change color to yellow and then I'm gonna make it a smaller size. It's there, it's lighting. And then I'm gonna press L to add a line so that I have a line going through my window like that. But I don't want it to be so dark. I want it to fade in my light. Therefore, I'm gonna go to transparency, transparency and make it a little bit transparent so that it blends in with the design. And then I'm going to change the end and the beginning of the line and make it a rounded end points like that. That it blends in nicely with my design. I must say, this one is not my favorite. I'm just showing you different kinds. I copy that, move it so that the window has a window kind of a effect like that. And then I press T for text and I add the company name and I add the company slogan as well. I'm going to fast forward when I'm doing this. And there's you. 2D lighting up the community real estate idea that you could use for your design. So I just want to show you the second option that you could use with the light. I'm going to duplicate this page and then I'm going to delete this light, send the house backward, delete that. The other way that I used to light up this house was to create a um, light using text. So I'm going to press T for text and then press an I. Use my capital letter I as the way that I'm going to light up this window. So if you've selected your I and you go to your effects on your effects there are options where you could add a neon light so when you click on neon 
it gives you the option and then I can set it up how intense I want this neon to be and I can rotate it and then move it ever so gently so that I can have lights coming up on my window so if you want the size of your eye to be a little bit less you just re reduce the size of your text and you tweak it like that until you are happy and it covers the whole window and it's in lights and you duplicate that four times and you rotate it so that the window is fully covered that's my favorite i don't know because it's creative i guess that is option number two you could play around with your yellow so that it's bright and colorful but i'm showing you ideas and it doesn't have to be necessarily a house it could be whatever you're designing a play a crash or church or i don't know just go crazy with the ideas and play around with them and do something different with your design so we're going to jump in on photo p and then convert logo to a 3d logo may i ask that you head over to learnwithzar.com and when you get there go to courses and go and register pre-register for me and let me know that you want to know when the course comes live yes it's going to be a paid course but i will be holding your hand all the way with canva photo p and i cannot wait for me to roll this out and be part of the community with you i will see you on the next video mm -hmm.